not the divine service of the Russian Patriarch. We examine the covert ties between the Russian Orthodox Church and the Russian secret services. How FSB agents recruit agents in the Orthodox Church. All the details from an SBU general and former FSB agent. Subscribe to UpTrue, share the video with your friends, let everyone know the truth. Religious organizations are separated from the state and are equal before the law Article 14 of the Constitution of the Russian Federation. The system of government of the Russian Orthodox Church resembles the state. At the top is the Patriarch, he can be compared to the President. The Holy Synod is like a cabinet of ministers. There are dioceses which are divided into parishes. At first glance it seems very clear and understandable and looks like a system of government. If you look more closely, the Russian Orthodox Church is not separated from the state. There are many joint shots of the leader of the Russian Orthodox Church meeting with the President of the Russian Federation. In the Kremlin, where Putin awarded the Patriarch of the State Separated Church with state awards. In the Temple, it was Patriarch Kirill's turn to present Putin with a gift. As a gift Putin received an icon of Prince Vladimir. Attention, the same prince who christened Kiev and was the first to use a trident as a symbol of his power. Now the story not about Prince Vladimir Sviatoslavovich or Putin Vladimir Vladimirovich and absolutely about others. About how for decades the Russian Orthodox Church played games about which they do not write in the Gospels. For decades the Moscow Church has been closely tied to the secret services. First in the USSR and then in modern Russia. About this said Major General of the SBU Viktor Yagen. As you know, in the beginning of the USSR, the church and priests were subjected to repression. During World War II, on the background of millions of victims in the USSR, first they talked about the Holy War. Then monasteries and priests were officially allowed to exist. A special committee was created to keep the church under control. It was headed by a general from the Ministry of State Security. Thus the Russian Orthodox Church became a full-fledged element of the Soviet Communist State. The Patriarch's meetings with the security forces were open to journalists. The Minister of the Russian Ministry of Internal Affairs, Kirill assures the police officers respect and will continue to respect the Russian Orthodox Church. There are also secret meetings of priests with people in uniform. All the documents can be found on the internet. It shows the hierarchs of the Russian Orthodox Church signed with operational pseudonyms. It is known that Patriarch Kirill's predecessor, Patriarch Alexei, had the pseudonym agent Drozdov. The current head of the Russian Orthodox Church, Kirill, is referred to in KGB documents as Agent Mikhailov. Cooperation between the secret services and church organizations was one of the main tasks of the KGB. The special services trained the Holy Fathers how to work with the parishioners. Taught each priest psychological techniques and methods. If a parishioner sympathized with Ukraine, the priest was obliged to report it at once. They teach priests how to communicate and how to get information. The Russian Orthodox Church is a professional agency. Priests work long hours in one place, and every priest in every Orthodox parish in Russia is connected in one way or another with the FSB. Now we are going to tell you about the main secret of the Russian Orthodox Church. The commandment not to kill has been successfully expunged by the Russian Orthodox Church. That the Russian Orthodox Church has a warm relationship with the army is no secret. This can be seen starting with the main temple of the Russian army and the lighting of weapons of mass destruction. The day after this video was made, Father Mikhail Vasilyev, known in Russia as a priest of the airborne troops, went to hell himself. But now, not about the video, but about what is hidden from the public. The main question is, who are the church employees of the KGB? There are few actual KGB officers among them. If you are a KGB colonel, sending you into the church hierarchy as a metropolitan is fantastic. Usually a young officer who agrees is classified in this hierarchy. This is why Patriarch Kirill most likely does not have an official position in the FSB. The state is very good at providing for the Russian Orthodox Church. 
Patriarch Kirill is obviously not a cadre of spies, but he is surrounded by them. Since the time of President Boris Yeltsin, the Russian Orthodox Church has received duty-free privileges for alcohol and tobacco products in the 90s. The Russian Orthodox Church has billions in profits. This provides a comfortable life for Patriarch Kirill The tasks performed by FSB agents under the cover of the church are varied. As an example, to promote anti-Ukrainian theses among the congregation. Turning churches into secret bases for terrorists. Journalists have known this since the events in Ukraine in 2014. Monasteries and churches of the Moscow Patriarchate in Crimea and Donbass were used as safe houses and hideouts for Russian saboteurs. One way or another, the Russian Orthodox Church and the Patriarch are playing mafia spy games and serving not God but real people in uniform. Thank you for watching our channel.